It's the first time that the Choban Foundation is doing something in this direction, architecture related to film. Every film needs architecture, but only a few films talk about architecture in their theme and in their concept. And so do these three films present an approach of the director, Oshi Mamoru, one of the great Japanese directors of animated films. He is um, interested in the transformation of cities, Asian mega cities from the 80s to today and is using this transformation of the urban structure as a motive in his films and so dedicating a lot of effort and time to crafting a vision of the city. For Oshi, the background is carrying the whole world of his film. The story is set in. It's not character-focused animation, it's more world-based animation. They have this term real K, which means uh, as realistic as you can be, believable and visionary. What we have in this exhibition here, anime architecture, are image boards, layout designs and background illustrations. Building a world from scratch involves many hundreds, even thousands of drawings because it's necessary to give the whole team an understanding of the world this film is taking place in. You know, there's architecture in the film, uh, of course, the film itself has an architecture too. If you look at this drawing, you can already understand how the film is made, starting with the color and then going into the detail. And that's basically, for me, that's a nice metaphor for the whole production, because you start with a mood, with something you want to express, and then you go into the detail and there, there's a story unfolding. You, you build a window and in this window there might be somebody doing something but it all starts with the blue vision of the future and future in the 90s was blue. <laughs> <laughs>